Hi, I'm Matt Benyon. I'm the Senior Content Marketing Manager here at Western Digital, and today we're going to do a demo of the MyCloud 4.0 app for Android and how you can use that with My Passport Wireless to enjoy all the content uh, from My Passport Wireless right on my Android tablet. Okay, so let's start with a quick tour of the MyCloud app for Android. I'm going to launch this app, and the first thing it's going to do is, is really drop us right into this folder view. And here you can see on the left side of the page, I've got different folders. If I tap on these folders, it's gonna go deeper and deeper into the, the folder structure. This is the same way that a computer looks at folders. Uh, so this should be pretty familiar. Now, right next to the all button, you'll notice on top is a photos button. If I tap on that, it's actually going to look across every folder and give me every photo. Uh, so it's really easy to find. Likewise, if I tap music, um, it'll switch to finding all the music on the device and videos will, will do the same thing. Now, uh, some other stuff that we'll quickly look at as we try to take a quick tour. On the top left, you can see there's three bars. And if I tap on that, that'll pull out this tray where we can manage some settings and add devices and do some of those things. But let's, uh, let's jump back in. Uh, if I go back and, and look at the main structure here, across the top on the right is an option for search. And I can do a search uh, for just about anything. We'll try puppy. And this will present all of the files that have puppy in the name. Uh, but there's also this little three dots button and this is contextual. So depending on where you are, this set of options will change uh, what, what is available. Um, so this is just a quick tour there. Let's actually dive deep into some of the settings. Okay, so I just opened the settings tab by tapping on those three bars on the top. And uh, this pulls out this tray where I can add and remove uh, devices and services. Uh, we're connected to my passport wireless already. But we could also be connected to Dropbox, Google Drive, uh, or OneDrive. Uh, if I've downloaded a file to view offline, I can access it here. And likewise, I can adjust the settings of the app or the settings of my Passport Wireless, which is what we want to do now. So I'll tap on the gear. And now we're in the settings menu. And from here, I'm able to get a quick look at how the content is organized. Uh, I can check out my battery to see what performance mode I'm in. Uh, I'm also able to change my Wi-Fi mode. I'm currently connected to the internet and my passport wireless through this router. Uh, and then likewise, there's some menu options for the SD card as well. Now, if I tap on more, there's definitely some more items we can get into. Um, if, I, if I went now to media, we have some options here to change the behavior of the SD card uh, and to begin a copy now. But this is, this is the settings section for my passport wireless. So now let's really get in here and enjoy some of the media we've stored on the device. Now we're in the folder view and if I tap on the name of the folder, uh, I can just dive deeper and deeper in here until I actually see some of the content. If I wanted to uh, download one of these files or do some of these other options we have, pressing and holding on the photo itself will select it and then across the top I can either download or open some of the different options menus allowing me to do different things. Now, if I wanted to uh, look at all the photos on the device and I didn't know what folder it was in, tapping on the photos button cuts across the entire device, looks at every photo and makes it real easy to find stuff uh, when, you, when you don't know where it is. Likewise with music, I can simply tap on music and I don't have a ton here. Uh, we do have a couple files. If I press and play the file, we've got some great options here. Shuffle, repeat, uh, plus the standard stuff. We also uh, will play the music in the background so you're able to go off and do other activities while music continues to play. Now if I come over to videos, uh, we've got a lot of different video files here. If I tap on this video, it's going to give me an option of choosing a different app to play the video with. So you can use a number of different apps and if you've got one that you really like, you can. Now if I press and hold on this video, we have again a few options to download, uh, to do a couple of different things, move it around the device. Uh, or even share. So that was a, a quick tour of the MyCloud 4.0 app for Android. My name is Matt Benyon. Thanks for joining me.